yeah, I thought I'd do another update today. Um, just show that the fry I've hatched. I thought the wigglers just started swimming now. I've just put the lights on here now. Sorry, I'm, this this phone is crap. It's a um, Samsung Galaxy, a new one. With um, it's meant, the reason I got it is because of the camera. It's meant to be like really good, but it's got like four times the megapixels of the iPhone that I replaced it. Like I got rid of to get this, and it is complete and utter shit. But um, yeah, they're free swimming now. As you can see, they're all over. Um, I've had to turn the wave makers off on the tank. I mean, I like a lot of um, surface agitation in my tanks, but um, it makes it too much hard work for the fryer. Um, yeah, you'll see them all come out. They're all under that rock at the minute where the lights have been off. Um, I thought they'd be um, like free, uh, free swimming either today or tomorrow, so um, I've been able to come back to check on them. All. Yeah, I'm going to be pulling off of these. Um, like I said, I've got um, an order for 80 from just from one place, so um, I've got to grow these out. They're all going to be going into the tank in the hallway, the, um, the little male bean eyes in. And um, I was going to put them straight into the, the smaller version of this tank, the 40 inch one, but it makes it a lot harder for feeding them, and that, um, you know what I mean? You end up, um, they end up missing a lot of the food. So they're going to be going in that till they get to about half an inch or an inch. And then um, the ones that are going into the shop, um, I'll be shipping off at that size. And then once the rest of them are an inch, I'll be moving them into the 40-inch um, tank. Yeah, that little male, um, I've got someone who says they want it in a minute. So um, it's just a case of them collecting it because of all this COVID malarkey. I mean, it's not worth shipping one fish because it's... Um, for the price of the uh, shipping and that uh, freight, it's going to be, um, it makes it too expensive. It's alright if you're buying quite a few, but um, yeah, whereas with these, um, the place that these go to, I've already got an arrangement with him for getting them to him. Yeah, you can see the male's got the hump with me at the minute for being near the tank. But um, I'll drop in the pellets, the with all the other fish I have, um, I don't actually bother feeding the fry, I just drop the pellets in for the uh, parents and what comes out the side of their gills and what they spit out to the fry they eat. But with these, when, um, oh shit, because I'm growing them out for a shop, um, I try and make sure that I feed them up as much as possible to um, get them as big as quick as possible. So I've been giving them um, that. I mean, I do try and give them the baby brine shrimp, but where I'm in between two places at the minute, between here and another uh, place, um, it's too much to sit there because you can't get baby brine. You have to hatch it yourself. So it's quite a commitment you have. Well, I, when I've done it, I had three different um, containers going at the same time in different stages, so you didn't run out. Because the problem is, once you start giving it to them, I had it before where... I'll run out, and then um, the fry didn't want to take the crushed up flakes after that, off, you know what I mean? So, um, I'm just trying with that. Now, all it is, I think, is um, a very rich um, flake that's just crushed up into, like, tiny pieces. But, um, yeah, you can see that she's having a go at him because I'm near the tank. She wants him to come and chase me off, so, yeah, I won't um, make this too long. I don't want to stress him out, but... I just wanted to show them free swimming. Yeah, this is the only time when the female is more aggressive than the male. Normally he's the one who's the aggressive one, so... But yeah, that was it. Yeah, let me come away now, because it's going to cause ructions between them.